Um, Second Sight, the book I did on, on intuition, I think it's not the only ingredient in design, but possibly the most important. It's something everybody has. Uh, it's not a matter of teaching it. In fact, most of the schools tend to discount <coughs> intuition as an ingredient of your working process because they can't quantify it. It's very hard to teach people the four steps to, to uh, intuitive design, but we can teach you the four steps to a nice business card um, or newsletter. So it tends to get discounted. This is a quote from Albert Einstein who says, the intellect has little to do on the road to discovery. There comes a leap in consciousness, call it intuition or what you will, and the solution just comes to you and you don't know from where or why. So it's kind of like when somebody says, who did that song? And the more you try to think about it, the farther the answer gets from you and the minute you stop thinking about it, your intuition gives you that answer in a sense. I like this for a couple of reasons. If you've had any design courses, they would teach you you can't read this. I think you eventually can, and more importantly, I think it's true. Don't mistake legibility for communication. Just because something's legible doesn't mean it communicates. More importantly, it doesn't mean it communicates the right thing. So what is the message sent before somebody actually gets in to the material? And I think that's a, a, sometimes an overlooked area.